Hey, hi, hey, hello, ciao, konnichiwa, bom dia, ni hao, privet, buni, zava, labas, godan dag, ahoy, dia duet, sima, dobradan, ram ram, mahaba, bonjour, annyeong, eseo, hello, it's me, Tovo, and here we are with uh, a request um, from you chums of what's in my in my hangers, really. Now, I've got 60 bays at the moment. Oh, I shouldn't call it hanger, I should call it bays, shouldn't I? Um... And so we're going to do it 10 at a time, simply as, simply because there's so many to cover. Uh, I just want to show you each in turn, maybe take them out for a spin. So, bay number one. This is a, a hover SMG buggy that I created in a tutorial. Don't like it. Uh, well, do I like it? I don't know. It's just it's an awful lot of P-flops to have hover and wield capability. And I just don't think you need it. Uh, yeah, hovers will get you around very well in the early game, and wheels definitely come into their own late game. However, the extra P CPU you use in order to gain that ability is quite heavy, so without taking into a match, the, ju the jury is out on that one. But that's Bay 1. So there we have it. Bay 2, what do we have? Ah, this is the revamp of uh, Plumpy Bomber, the bomber that was so heavy. I had a request to build as he get as heavy a bomber as I could in the, the air, so I made a massive chunk of armor and proceeded to try and make it fly. It was a nightmare. Um, uh, but I had to revamp it, and I revamped it into this, um, which I'm quite pleased with. I've never taken it out into a match, though. Like, I would love to take it out for a match, but I'm very pleased with it as far as... Roughly the same design, but this one I just feel was just a little bit more manoeuvrable, um, just had a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more swankiness to it, and as far as bombers go, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with it. I like it. Uh, so that's Bay 2, yeah. Look how pretty it is. I'm very pleased with it. It's everything a bomber needs to be, apart from maybe no helium, but you don't have to have helium. Oh, I love it. It just flies so yum. Anyway, <laughs> getting distracted by the bomber. So that's Bay 2. Again, going to take it out into combat at some point, but in the meantime, it's just going to stay gathering virtual dust in the hangars, uh, in the bays. Bay 3. Ah, this is my tier 7, yeah it's tier 7, my tier 7 plasma dive bomber. You can see I've got free bottom, free top, so it's not only just engaging ground targets, but also to try and get that air-to-air -air plasma. If for those of you who have achieved air-to-air -air plasma, you know how fantastic it is to hit another aircraft with plasma while you're also flying. It's just so tasty. <laughs> so this is that. Um, again, it manoeuvres just as well. Uh, I'm very pleased with it. It's a bit skinny. I don't know how it will fare in combat. I should start taking bots out into a few matches and develop it because that's the real good way to build a bot. One-time builds, they don't often do too well. Um, oh, it's got skis on. Forgot about that. Um, so it's always good to take them into a few matches and have your designs evolve uh, over time, personally. Let's go around that rock. Whoa. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that's, this is Bay 3, really. This is I love the vapor trails. So, let's see if I can just land. Ah, oh, isn't it delish? Okay, so that's Bay 3. So, quite a, quite a lot of aircraft at the moment. Aero rods are here, plastic, so that's going to really like change the designs that I go through. But yeah, this was pre-curves as well. Pretty pleased with it. Bay 4, what do we have? Ah, oh, the stealth heli. There we go. I'm not going to show you this. Again, this was featured in a build, but then I covered it in electronics and jammers. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's not too survivable, but it is a real treat to fly. And if I do say so myself, it looks gorgeous. I especially enjoy... Oh, look, these these blocks under here are ugly. Missed that opportunity, didn't I? Um, yeah, it's just a pleasant heli. Uh, yeah, just pleasant. Just a pleasant heli. Looks good. Fight's okay. Oh, <laughs> Bay 5. The Formula 1 car, or at least what I thought Formula 1 cars looked like. You can't be too hard on me. I don't watch Formula 1. Personally, I think it's a fail. <laughs> I do need to put a gun on it and take it into a fight. I also want to revamp it so it's incredibly fast. But yeah, I just couldn't bring myself to take it apart. But there it is, tier 7, no, tier 6, uh, probably one car. Basics! What do we have? Ah, now this is my plasma heli. I created this um, in a tutorial, only to find out at the end of the video, like a 40 minute build, that. It hadn't recorded. Very pleased with this heli. Uh, I combined, you can see like the rotor position as well, I combined lower level rotors as well. Um, I just really enjoy it as a heli. Uh, but unfortunately, there's no tutorial on it. But yeah, heavily shielded, 
like the extra rotors, it will fly on two rotors. The extra two there are simply for survivability. But I'm really pleased with it. I do enjoy helis. I just, I like flying them. I don't like fighting in them, if that makes sense. Like, they're fun to build, fun to fly, uh, but they're too easily shot down. Too easily shot down for my taste. But uh, that's the plasma, the plasma heli. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, I'm burping coffee, sorry. Bay Seven? Yeah, seven. Ooh! Oh, it's the T3 tracks. A now extinct uh, bot, if I'm not mistaken. I don't believe it's on the bot store anymore. If it is, then, you know, stand corrected. Uh, it's all right. You know, it's all right to go for a match. I've, I've got it here because I'm going to revamp it uh, and then uh, take it out again. But I haven't got around to revamping it, so it has just sat here. Um, what do you get? You get a little flag, get some electro plates, plasmas. It's very low profile. They love the open cockpits. Uh... And frankly, so do I. <laughs> Bay 8! Oh, it's the Tier 3 tracks revamped with the Titan... Titan 7, I think it's called? Titan 7 head? The head's pretty handy. I had a truly epic match in this spot where I think I got a crazy amount of kills and ended up winning the match solo. And not solo, but a lot of my, my team died and my actions won the match. Uh, and that's not just me being arrogant. It actually happened. There's a vid of it. Check it out. Uh, or not. Or just believe me. Just believe me. <laughs> So there we are, it's very high profile, but it fought really well. And as a result, uh, oh, you get a little name pad on it, name thing. Um, that should get used more often, actually. You know, you can say like, I killed you. So when you die, you see the back of their body and you're like, no, oh, they got me. But anyway, that's just me being mean, I guess. <laughs> tier three, tier three tracks. I like it. So, number nine. Oh, it's the Sabre. It seems that I went through a bit of a phase of buying designs. This is clearly early on to me being given the GC. Uh, and I was going through designs and revamping them. This is the Sabre. Again, I haven't got around to revamping it. Uh, yeah, I really should do that at some point. So, final hanger, tier 10. Ah, now this was quite enjoyable. This is an SMG buggy uh, that I just built. Um, but I went with this design. If you look underneath, oh, wait, we're going to have to load the robot. Uh, I was experimenting with the front design because you take a lot of hits to the front. So I tried in. Oh, caps lock. I tried. Oh, how do you get out? I tried enclosing the wheels. So you can see that I've got this inverted wheel design here. Um, it means it's quite weak from the side. But the idea being that you could protect the wheels more. I'm not so sure whether it works as a, a, in a protection kind of thing. However, it does drive okay. Um. Again, haven't turned out into enough matches to test, but I like it. I do like the uh, inside wheel design. Um, I've also got more than six SMGs. Do you know what? Do I like it? I don't actually like it, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to fight and see. I think it's got going to be one of those designs that needs to evolve over, over time. But I could definitely revisit it and tweak it. Definitely, definitely would be up for that. So there's that. And I think that's, that's Bay 10. I do believe it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so there's the first 10 bays. It does get more interesting as we go on. And obviously, I'll be building more robots, so there will be more interesting things. There's definitely more interesting things. There's some secret projects going on uh, that you'll get a glimpse into that haven't actually even become vids um, yet. Oh, so yeah. So keep posted. Stay posted. What's the phrase I'm looking for? I don't know. Keep an eye. No. Anyway, I've been Table. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today. Take care of yourselves. Most importantly of all, don't forget...